In a 1996 study, participants were given a word unscramble activity in which they had to identify the odd word out. For some of the participants, the leftover words were related to old age, words like wrinkle, gray, and Florida. The interesting part began when they walked out of the laboratory. Researchers measured their walking speed and found that those who had been exposed to words related to old age walked more slowly than those who had not. Unsurprisingly, the study became very famous. It's commonly given as an example of the priming effect, which is when exposure to one stimulus affects how we respond to something else afterwards. But there's a problem. A number of later attempts to replicate this study failed. Replicating studies is important because it helps us to identify potential biases in the original study. It helps us to ensure that the original findings were not the result of chance or methodological flaws. The failure to replicate this study has sparked a debate about the importance of replication. It's also led to distrust of the field of social psychology and doubts about the existence of the priming effect. I wouldn't go this far. Many studies on specific types of priming have been replicated. However, there is a problem going on. It's called the replicability crisis, and it's not isolated to the field of social psychology. There's a lack of funding for replication studies because they're less glamorous and less likely to lead to flashy news headlines. However, they are crucial to the integrity of scientific research. If we read or hear about a study, we should ask ourselves, has anyone attempted to replicate this? And if so, were the results consistent with the original study?